Hi there, welcome to our fall 2020 virtual open house. Uh, we're here with our program coordinator, Dean Smith, for the pre-technology session. I'd like to everybody uh, thank everybody for attending uh, for this uh, informative presentation on pre-technology. I'm Josh Westgate. I'm a student recruitment officer here at Fanshawe College. Uh, I'll be moderating and hosting the session. Just wanted to go through a few things for you guys. Your webcams and mics will be turned off for this session. If you have any questions, please utilize the question box and we'll make sure we have a Q&A uh, at the end of the presentation. Uh, also, any other questions, of course, we have uh, the myfuture at fanshawe.ca. We'll also include Dean's contact information at the end of the presentation where you can contact him directly regarding any questions. So I'll throw it over to Dean, sit back and enjoy. Thanks. Welcome everyone to Fanshawe College Pre-Technology. Uh, I'm going to give an overview of the program. Hopefully I can answer questions as we go through the presentation. And we'll have a, like Josh had mentioned, we'll have a question period at the end where we can uh, we can cover some additional questions at, at that time. So the Pre-Technology program at Fanshawe College is a one-year uh, preparatory certificate program. Um, the idea is to um, explore various areas of technology <clears throat> to prepare you for that next step um, here at Fanshawe College, that career program. Um, several of our students will, will move into their career programs. Uh, um, a lot of students will go to uh, the, the Donald J. Smith School of Building Technology. School of Applied Science and Technology and the School of Transportation Technology and Apprenticeship are common uh, pathways uh, that the students will pursue after pre-technology. <clears throat> Some of the programs you may choose to go into after pre-technology within the Donald J. Smith School of Building Technology include carpentry and renovation technology, carpentry renovation techniques, construction carpentry techniques, construction engineering technician, construction project management, plumbing techniques, and of course apprenticeships within carpentry, plumbing, brick and stone masonry. <clears throat> within the School of Applied Science and Technology, some of the programs our pre-tech students um, will enter into after pre-technology include uh, electrical engineering technician, electrical engineering technology, Electrical Techniques, Electromechanical Engineering Technician, Environmental Technology, Science Lab Technology, Manufacturing Engineering Technology, Manufacturing Engineering Technician, and Welding Techniques. Some of their career programs that pre-technology students pursue in the School of Transportation Technology and Apprenticeship include Motive Power Technician, program, automotive or diesel, aviation technology, and again, uh, apprenticeships in automotive, truck and coach, auto body and collision repair, uh, aviation and parts. <clears throat> um, as mentioned, the pre-technology program is a preparatory program. It is designed to spark interest <clears throat> and get the student on a pathway to a career program. Uh, this helps with students becoming familiar with Fanshawe College and the available resources within Fanshawe College. And we'll build on this as we talk through a few more of the slides here. This also is designed to allow students to achieve required courses and credits necessary to move into their career program. So some of the prerequisites that, that they may not already have, they may be able to, the students may be able to achieve within the pre-technology program to move forward in their career program. <clears throat> Typically, um, this slide is giving you an idea of the, the landscape of our classroom. Typically, the majority of our students will be direct entry students right out of um, high school, but maybe not a, sure of their career path yet. They just know they are interested in technology in, in some, some respects. They want to move into that area, just not sure exactly where yet. Um, so that's the majority of the students in our classroom will be direct entry. 
there will also be some students in our classroom, and I mentioned this on a previous slide, that may only require a credit or two to move into their career program. They already have in mind what they want to do as their career program. They need a credit or two from pre-tech to move on. So they may uh, come into our program for simply one semester, one or two courses, and they're moving forward. They have their career path in mind. The third student that it will be in our classroom uh, will be mature students. These will be students that have um, maybe left and gone to the workforce for a while and now have decided to um, ha have a career change and they want to come to pre-technology and get back into um, the swing of things. Again, they may not know exactly what they want to do, but they want to get back into the, the, the college and the learning environment and then move forward from there. So those are three students that will be the three students that will be in our classroom. <clears throat> the pre-technology program, and this will this will answer one of the questions that I typically get in an open house. <clears throat> there are two semesters, a fall and a winter semester within pre-technology. Students can start either in September or January. I will talk about the courses within each semester as we move forward in a second here. But really, the majority of students will start in September, traditionally, as with many of the programs within Fanshawe College. But you can start out of sync, so to speak, in January. There's a, there's a, this, the set of courses within the fall semester never changes, and the set of courses in the winter winter semester never change. You're just taking those courses in a different order. Um, <clears throat> there is no summer semester within pre-technology. And that's, that's, that's a question I get asked fairly often. So there, are, there, will no, there is no summer semester. To list, as I mentioned, I want to discuss or list the courses that we have in our fall semester. Uh, that will include health and safety, uh, tools intro, which is woodworking, skills for success, intro to AutoCAD, welding, machining, uh, mathematics, and then uh, there, there will be a RIT, um, which all college programs will have for free technology. You can do that one in the fall. <clears throat> Our winter semester courses include computer applications. This is, will be online delivery. Uh, physics is a blended delivery, uh, which would typically, a blended delivery, which would typically include face-to-face -face and online. Now with COVID, all of our theory has moved to online. So this, this, this coming semester, physics will be online only. But in a typical year, it, will be a, it would be a blended course. Uh, chemistry, practical electronics, mathematics, and engine technologies. So I'm going to step backwards a little bit. I'm, I'm going to answer a question that I get as well. With our fall courses, pre-technology is offered in Z building for most of our theory, but we will also have our engine technologies lab and welding simulation happen in Z building. For other labs, which includes uh, tools intro, woodworking, welding and machining, and practical electronics in the winter semester, they will happen at main campus, either in B or T building at main campus. So um, the main campus houses most of our labs and Z building down the street, it's a one block east of the main campus, houses most of our theory and a couple of our labs, engine technologies and welding simulation. So just to, just to let you know, at the very end, the, the slide at the end talks about where this program is housed, um, what campus. Uh, again, it, it's, it's, it's at Maine and at Zed Building. <clears throat> so a discussion I normally have with students, and this is also at, at, at orientation, not only open house. I will all, uh, as with any college program, the pre-technology program is busy. There will be more than 20 hours per week um, with face-to-face, -face, online, and lab work, uh, 20 hours plus. Um, this semester, this fall semester right now is at 23 hours with RIT. 
So your organizational skills and time management skills are essential. You have to develop those and get organized and keep track of things. All programs are like this. It's an, it's an important part of, of college life. It's part of learning. And, and you have to get organized and these skills are essential. <clears throat> This is, I'm, I just want to build on top of <coughs> uh, benefits of a preparatory program like, uh, like pre-technology or at Fanshawe College. The idea of, of a preparatory program, it's a one-year certificate program. What it does is it really helps you prepare for college life. On the academic side of things, you get to know where your resources and supports are as I listed here in the PowerPoint what you have available for you here at Fanshawe College. There are excellent resources available for you. You have to know where they are, how to locate them, and how to ask for them. Another side of things, which I, which I normally look at, at, at parents now and talk about this, is it prepares the student for college life. Um, it can be a big adjustment to, to possibly move away from home for the first time to get into the college life and to have to be organized and look after your own scheduling. And the social aspects or the social side of college life is different and it can be challenging. And that's another benefit of a preparatory program like pre-technology. It's giving you academic, um, it, it's, it's teaching you where the academic support is, but it's also teaching you the social side of college life. <clears throat> it will help you develop organizational and time management skills. Our skills for success course within pre-technology targets those skills and helps develop that stuff for you. It allows um, students to become accustomed to the Fanshawe College Learning Management System, Fanshawe Online. And again, the skills for success um, course targets that and all courses will use it. So it really allows you to, to build your skills there. And then when you get to your career program, after pre-technology, boom, you already have all of these skills in your back pocket. You're ready to go and really ready to learn um, your career program. <clears throat> um, it again, again the, the bottom point there, just as, as it's, we've said, it allows you to get accustomed to all the supports and resources that are available to you at Fanshawe, which is endless. They are there for you. It's great, great support. <clears throat> so there, uh, will, there will be additional details available to you on the Fanshawe College website. I'm sure if, you've been, if you're of interest in the pre-technology program, you will check that out. There's great information there for you to access and use. <clears throat> kind of going to, to a point I made earlier, we had talked about the, the location of our classes, of our courses. Main campus, we utilize the main campus mainly because of the labs that um, would include the welding, the machining, the practical electronics, the woodworking, <clears throat> and in the chemistry lab as well. <clears throat> we will also utilize Z building for our theory, and we will use Z building for our engine technologies lab and for our welding simulation lab. And that's where my, my office is at Z building. So um, I think, I probably uh, forgot to touch on a couple of things, but I'm hoping that will come up when we get to our to our question period. Um, and again, I'm gonna just go to the next slide. We'll show you my email, where if you um, are like me and forget afterwards a question, please send me an email, and uh, and I can I can help. Or we can answer that question together and, and get you on the right path. So um, this is this is where I will. This is my last slide. 
I will stop here and I will await any questions that you may have um, about the pre-technology program here at Fanshawe College. Fantastic. Thanks, Dean. Really appreciate the information there. Great little overview of the pre-technology program. Um, some things in the chat that we've put, um, again, any questions in the question box there, we have included uh, the franchisee.ca slash uh, website, sorry, and also the link to the pre-technology page in the chat. So if you wanted to kind of take that there, Dean's email is uh, on the last slide there. So now's our time to kind of chat about any questions that you may have. Um, Dean, I guess we'll start it off with, I, I do chat with students quite a bit about the pre-technology program and would the recommendation be really good here for students that they may know they want to get into a skilled trades or a technology program, but they're unsure of how to like narrow down what options. Um, so this would provide this really nice pathway for students to get to the next step, correct? Absolutely, Josh. Um, that's that's a great talking, talking point here for us. Um, this is a question that will come from students or potential students and parents. It is exactly what this program is designed to do is to try to get that interest, uh, the, the student or the potential students an interest in something, something techy, but just not sure what. This is, we're trying, our, our job is to, to expose you to as much techy things as possible and as many supports for that as possible to try to spark interest and get you get you in the right direction uh, for a career path, right? So that's that's a great question. That's a great talking point. Fantastic. Uh, one that just came through here, um, and maybe how we could relate it to pre-technology, but um, is there any introduction to plumbing specifically? Now, we do have the plumbing techniques program, uh, but how could this be utilized for that as well? Or what recommendation would you make there? Yeah, the plumbing techniques with Greg um, Van Baker would be the, the, the spot for that. Again, um, if, if that's your goal, I, I wish, uh, there are other courses that I wish we could include <laughs> in pre-technology. Uh, plumbing is certainly one of them that we've talked about in the past. Um, if you're not, if plumbing's one of your interests, but you're not sure, um, then for sure our, 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 our math, our chemistry, any of the techie, any of the, the labs, introduces you to tools and usage of tools um, and, and the math, the chemistry, the physics, all that builds onto any of those tech or trade um, careers. So yeah, um, you, you kind of mentioned it. If plumbing is your goal, I, the, the plumbing techniques would be the, the avenue. Um, but if it's just one of your thoughts, then come on into pre-technology. We do not have a specific plumbing course, but we have things that you could, transferable skills that you could apply to plumbing anywhere. So <clears throat> that'll work. Hopefully that kind of answered that question there for that student. Yeah, I, I think that's a that's a really good point of like, if, if you're gung-ho and you know that plumbing is your future and your career goal, that techniques program is great. But if you get into that and might not like it, something like this, which is a little more well-rounded, can still lead to that pathway. Yeah. Um, does pre-technology have a January start option, or is it only September, Dean? Yeah, and we and we I touched on that a wee bit in the one slide. Um, definitely, the majority of our so a quick yes, it has a January start. Typically, the majority of our students will start in September, but we always have a handful of students who will start in. Uh, January. Again, there is a set, there are a set number of courses that will run in the fall. They are always in the fall. There's a set courses that run in the winter. They always run in the winter. So you are just taking the courses kind of in reverse order, but you're still getting all of the same material. Um, but it does not run through the summer. And there, there's the question that people that ask about January will, will will normally lead up to that question. If there's a January start, can I move from January to summer for my second semester and then into my career program in September? That's a, that's a, a common question that we'll have and uh, it would be a great option. And of course, we've talked about that in program reviews. It may be something that comes comes along, but right now we don't have the the summer semester, but 
yeah, definitely September is the usual start, but we have a bunch of students that start in January as well. That was a long answer to a <laughs> short question. Yeah. Yeah, no, sorry. no problem at all. Uh, I think it's important to point out too is how the classes are being run now, even through this COVID situation that right. uh, the program is operational and we are doing a blended format. So, yeah. so you could touch kind of a little bit on that too, that sure. classes are still occurring, they're still in, in labs. Yeah, so we've moved and uh, and some people asking these questions may have uh, maybe in a situation of learning right now in high school or where, wherever um, we have moved our theory to online only at this point. And I see that for the foreseeable future right now and in, in our winter semester for sure. But our labs are still, um, with, with, with all the safety precautions, our labs are face to face uh, in, in the labs here at Fanshawe College. So we still have um, our labs are, are face to face, bricks and mortar in, in B and T building and, and in Z building. And, but, but we've moved all of our theory to, to online format. Fantastic. Uh, keep these questions coming through the question box. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to give cognizant of time here, but, uh, Dean, I'm going to give you uh, kind of the last word here too, if there's anything else that you kind of wanted to add here for, for the pre-technology program. Okay. Um, we've covered most things. I appreciate Josh helping us out there. That's, it's, this has been a good session. It's, it's a condensed session, but it's, I think it's effective. We don't want to, uh, we don't want too much information. I think everyone's clever enough to, uh, to do some research. Again, please take advantage of the information, my email, there are uh, um, sources of information about this program and others um, here at Fanshawe. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, again, I. it's always an exciting time with, with Open House. It, it's it's cool to see the excitement with it, with potential students and parents. Um, so this is a different way to do it. And I'm, I'm hoping um, everyone here is getting um, what they're what they need out of this. Um, it's it's uh, it's a little bit different that we've gone to like a like a virtual open house format. Um, I, I honestly got to say I miss the hustle bustle of our of our traditional open house sessions, but uh, we'll make it work this year for sure. Um, I think we've touched on most things. I had a few key notes here, but I'm but I'm sure we've touched on everything there. Um, um, yeah, Josh, I have. Uh, yeah, I. I Again, I'm, I'm Dean Smith, the program coordinator. If you have any questions at all about this program, please send an email. Um, again, Fanshawe College is awesome. You will, you will find that. Lots of supports, um, lots of information. And, uh, and yeah, I look forward to meeting all of our new students. Thanks, Josh. Fantastic. This is obviously... Uh our first crack at our fall virtual open house. And it's always nice to show off our facilities and all the hands-on learning experiences yeah. that our fans, that our students, the practicality that they get, but uh, there's still a little bit of time here. We'll see what shakes out here in the future. But again, any questions, uh, Dean's email is there. Uh, really like to thank everybody for attending the session. Um, it, it is different world, but uh, we're moving in the right direction and hopefully we can get you back on campus to see our facilities soon. So in closing, again, thanks so much. Any other questions too regarding student life experiences, student services, financial aid, they can always be directed at myfuture at fanchasc.ca. You can always book an appointment with a recruitment officer, fanchasc.ca slash connect. But again, for program expertise, Dean's email right there is the best one to contact. So let's wrap it up. That's our uh, webinar for our pre-technology program. Thanks so much, Dean. Take care, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Take care.